Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is Tezza. Welcome back. This is another episode. My Ron Santo road to the show. And the Cubs on a bit of a slump. Something I'll point out at the start. 1-7. Really not a good start for them at all. The Pirates are 3-5. and five. So they're doing a little bit better. But with today we are at PNC Park. And today it is Jackie Robinson Day. All the people wearing their number 42 jerseys. Remembrance of that legend. Carlos Villanueva getting the start for the Cubs. And it's good to see Ron back in the lineup. And I don't know if anyone noticed there. The Cubs have been busy doing a little bit of trading. And they have gone ahead and traded. And got hold of Dustin Pedroia. So the Boston Red Sox second baseman is now at Wrigley. Or today at PNC Park. He is the second baseman for the Chicago Cubs. So that is something interesting. Hopefully we might be able to have a decent season out of, uh, out of them today. Out of the Cubs, sorry. Uh, with Pedroia in the starting lineup. That is going to be a big help. Uh, obviously you can't fault his ability but he might be a little bit old by this point because this is like the third season but the Cubs up one nothing here but I'm not going to swing on any of those balls that we've seen so far not very good starting pitching it's 2-0 two, oh. two outs already though the runner is on at first guessing correctly that one is drilled to centre the centre fielder easily getting underneath that one a little jog over for him to get to that one and that would have been good if that had got down because that could have been runners on the corners but not this time, Villanueva back out there. But Ron with another back, <laughs> Ron with another at bat chance, and the Cubs have managed to get out a little bit of a lead here. It is 4-1 Cubs, and once again there is a runner on first, top of the third, no outs this time. That one's going to go for ball one. So a three-run deficit for the Pirates here, trying to limit us here in the third. Ron trying to see what he can do. Guessing that one correctly, that one is hit very deep, back to the wall it goes. Deep left, or left centre should I say. Ron's going to get to second, the runner's going to go ahead and go home. The throw is not is not accurate enough, pulls the catcher off the bag. And Ron with an RBI double. So that's good to see Ron getting the swing back. Excuse me, this is the swing that we saw him uh, have when he was back at AAA. You know, making good contact. Didn't actually guess that one correctly, but that one is well past the left fielder. Putting everyone under a lot of pressure there. So good work from Ron. Shareholtz is the man in the batter's box now. There's still no outs, but a 5-1 Cubs lead. Shareholtz going to go and drill this one deep to the right, but not deep enough. The throw home is in time to apply the tag. Ron rounded third. A bit of a silly move there. Probably should have stayed on the corners, but I was desperate to try and get him a run. Get him noticed a bit more. Sadly, nothing comes of it. And it is still a 5-1 lead. A defensive play now. Vino Wave is still on the mound. Bottom of the fourth, two outs. Runner on first. 3-1 count for the batter. The throw from Vino Wave. It's going to be a bunt attempt. Vino Wave, though, able to get there in time. Throw up over to first as well in time. And that ends the inning. We go to the fifth now. The Cubs still lead by 5-1. Santo is the lead off man. 300 average so far. Not bad at all since being recalled. Not seen too much of him in starting lineup, in starting uh, you know, kind of rotation. But hopefully we'll see a bit more of him soon. Top of the fifth here. No outs. Still a 5-1 lead. Swinging on that slider out the zone. Not a good move there at all. Go ahead and guess up high again. 0-1 count. Swing and a miss on another slider. That one just stayed in the zone. I'm not guessing correctly, so the swing is out outside of the actual ball zone. And they strike two. It's in high again. Not going to be fooled by that four seamer inside. That would have been poor if Ron had swung on that. You know, three pitches to get out. Not good at all. Looking like he's going to throw a slider. Hoping he throws one up high, though. Uh, high and away, so he can probably get something on it. That four seamer inside once again. Not fooled. Ron's eye getting a little bit better. Guessing up high as usual. 2-2 two, two count. Swinging on a four-seamer just over the ball itself. Sadly not able to make any contact there. Not even to force a little bobble. Ron is struck out there. Ron with another at-bat straight away. Runner on first. Top of the seventh. Two outs. He's one for three on the day. That RBI double that we saw earlier. Very impressive RBI double. Crushes that one though, deep right, no chance of that of that coming back in. That one is gone, upper deck, absolutely crushed by Santo there. And this is definitely what we want to see more out of Ron. It's coming back to the bigs 
absolutely fantastic to see his arm uh, you know back as it was he's hitting those home runs for Iowa and now hopefully he can hit some more runs for the Cubs that one's a big two run home run there was no doubt about that in Ron's mind that was gone swinging the bat away very confident very happy with that one go ahead and celebrate celebrate with Sherholz as well straight away Ron knew it was crushed to flip the bat away and you know that's a sign of confidence you know you trust yourself and you trust your arm and Ron gets a big two run homer there so great to see out of Santo you know three RBIs on the day for him not bad at all 7-1 lead what more could you ask for go ahead and simulate through some of the game the Pirates going to go ahead and bring some runs in to make it a 7-3 game but no matter the game is won and Ron Santo surely with the player of the game here so thank you very much for watching folks, if you enjoyed leave a like, if you didn't don't worry, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave some questions for my Q&A, that should be coming uh, Monday I believe. And Ron does get player of the game, so a very impressive game for him. I hope you all enjoyed this folks. As always, I love you all dudes, I will see you in my next video, and goodbye for now.